In a world that's often characterized by complex interpersonal dynamics, it's crucial to shed light on behaviors that can be emotionally and psychologically damaging. Narcissistic abuse is a pervasive issue that can go unnoticed, leaving victims grappling with its impact. In this video, we will unveil 10 forms of narcissistic abuse, aiming to increase awareness and foster understanding. 1. Gaslighting, distorting reality. Gaslighting, a hallmark of narcissistic abuse, is a manipulative tactic used to make victims doubt their own perceptions and memories. By systematically distorting the truth, the narcissist gains control and creates a sense of dependency. This insidious form of psychological warfare often leaves victims questioning their sanity as the narcissist denies or trivializes their experiences. Gaslighting can take the form of blatant lies, denial of events, or even selective memory to create confusion and self-doubt. Over time, the victim may find it challenging to trust their own judgment, reinforcing the narcissist's control. Gaslighting is not just about deception. It's a calculated strategy to erode the victim's confidence and autonomy, leaving them vulnerable to further manipulation. Understanding this tactic is crucial for breaking free from the psychological chains of narcissistic abuse. Victims must recognize when gaslighting is occurring to regain control over their reality and mental well-being. 2. Projection – Blaming Others for Their Flaws Projection is a manipulation tactic where the narcissist deflects their own insecurities and shortcomings onto others. By blaming their victims for the very flaws they possess, narcissists protect their fragile self-esteem. This form of emotional manipulation involves the narcissist accusing others of behavior or motives that are a reflection of their own guilt. Through projection, the narcissist avoids accountability and shifts the focus onto the victim, fostering a sense of guilt and shame. Victims may internalize these false accusations, further damaging their self-worth and contributing to a cycle of emotional abuse. Recognizing projection is critical to breaking free from the gaslighting effect and understanding that the accusations are often a distorted reflection of the narcissist's own issues. It's a tool for the narcissist to avoid confronting their flaws while maintaining control over the victim's emotional state. 3. Silent Treatment – Emotional Withdrawal The silent treatment is a powerful tool in the narcissist's arsenal, involving the abrupt withdrawal of emotional engagement. By creating an atmosphere of emotional distance and uncertainty, the narcissist gains a sense of control. Victims experience anxiety and confusion as they grapple with the sudden emotional void. This manipulation tactic is designed to punish the victim for perceived wrongs, leaving them desperate for reconnection. The silence is a calculated form of emotional abuse, inflicting pain without physical harm. For the narcissist, the silent treatment serves as a means to maintain dominance and instill a fear of abandonment in their victims. Recognizing the silent treatment as emotional abuse is crucial for victims to break free from the cycle and assert their emotional boundaries. Understanding that silence is a weapon used to control emotions empowers victims to seek healthier relationships. 4. Triangulation – Creating Unhealthy Alliances Triangulation is a manipulative tactic where the narcissist involves a third party to manipulate situations and control relationships. By creating triangles, they exploit insecurities and foster competition, ensuring they remain the center of attention. This tactic is intended to destabilize existing relationships and create a sense of dependency on the narcissist. The third party becomes a pawn in the narcissist's game, often unaware of their role in the manipulation. Triangulation can take various forms, from gossiping about one person to another to playing family members against each other. 
victims find themselves entangled in a web of confusion and conflict, further solidifying the narcissist's control. Recognizing triangulation is crucial for breaking free from the emotional chaos it creates and understanding that healthy relationships are built on trust and open communication. 5. Love Bombing – Intense, Overwhelming Affection Love bombing is a manipulation tactic in which the narcissist overwhelms their victim with excessive affection and attention, especially in the early stages of a relationship. This intense affection is meant to create a deep emotional connection and establish trust. Victims are showered with compliments, gifts, and declarations of love, creating a euphoric experience. However, once trust is established, the narcissist may abruptly withdraw, leaving the victim confused and yearning for the initial intensity. Love bombing is a deceptive tactic used to create a sense of dependency, making it harder for the victim to recognize red flags and escape the relationship. Understanding love bombing helps victims break free from the cycle of emotional highs and lows, empowering them to seek genuine and healthy connections. 6. Hoovering – Pulling Victims Back In Hoovering is a manipulative tactic employed by narcissists to pull their victims back into the toxic cycle after attempts to break free. This can involve promises of change, false apologies, or even threats, manipulating emotions and perpetuating the abuse. Hoovering often occurs when the victim begins to distance themselves, creating a false sense of hope for positive change. Victims may succumb to these tactics, believing that the narcissist has genuinely changed, only to experience a return to the same abusive patterns. Recognizing hoovering is essential for victims to maintain their boundaries and resist the emotional pullback into a destructive relationship. Understanding that genuine change is unlikely and that hoovering is a manipulation tactic empowers victims to break free and prioritize their well-being. 7. Isolation – Cutting Off Support Systems Narcissists seek to control their victims by isolating them from friends, family, and support networks. This isolation leaves victims more vulnerable to manipulation as they become increasingly dependent on the narcissist. The process of isolation is gradual and insidious, with the narcissist undermining existing relationships and discouraging new connections. Victims may find themselves detached from sources of emotional support, making it challenging to recognize the toxic dynamics at play. The isolation serves to enhance the narcissist's control as the victim becomes more reliant on them for emotional validation. Recognizing isolation as a manipulation tactic is crucial for victims to break free from the cycle and rebuild their support systems. Understanding the importance of maintaining connections outside the toxic relationship empowers victims to reclaim their independence. 8. Character Assassination – Undermining Self-Worth To maintain control, narcissists engage in character assassination, systematically undermining their victim's self-esteem and confidence. This manipulation tactic involves relentless criticism, humiliation, and devaluation. The narcissist strategically targets the victim's vulnerabilities, eroding their sense of self-worth over time. Character assassination serves to keep the victim in a perpetual state of insecurity, making them more susceptible to manipulation. Victims may internalize the negative messages, further damaging their mental and emotional well-being. Recognizing character assassination is crucial for victims to break free from the cycle of abuse and rebuild their self-esteem. Understanding that the criticism is a reflection of the narcissist's need for control empowers victims to reject the false narrative and reclaim their self-worth. 9. Financial Exploitation – Controlling Resources Narcissists may exploit their victims financially as a means of controlling resources and maintaining power, 
This manipulation tactic can take various forms, including restricting access to money, sabotaging career opportunities, or using financial dependency to enforce compliance. Financial exploitation is a form of control that leaves victims vulnerable and dependent on the narcissist for their basic needs. Recognizing financial exploitation is essential for victims to break free from the cycle of control and assert their financial independence. Understanding the importance of financial autonomy empowers victims to protect themselves from further manipulation and abuse. 10. Smear Campaigns, Damaging Reputations To protect their image and discredit those who challenge them, narcissists launch smear campaigns. Through lies, rumors, and manipulation, they aim to tarnish the reputation of their victims, isolating them further. Smear campaigns are a calculated effort to destroy the victim's credibility and social connections. Victims may find themselves ostracized and unsupported, facing the emotional and social fallout orchestrated by the narcissist. Recognizing smear campaigns is crucial for victims to understand the extent of the manipulation and protect their reputation. Understanding that the campaign is driven by the narcissist's need for control and validation empowers victims to navigate the aftermath and rebuild their social networks. Recognizing the signs of narcissistic abuse is the first step toward breaking free from its insidious grip. By understanding these 10 forms of abuse, individuals can empower themselves to seek support, set boundaries, and ultimately reclaim their lives from the damaging effects of narcissistic manipulation. Let us collectively work towards fostering awareness and creating a society that stands against narcissistic abuse. Hello, viewers. Surprisingly, 80% of you haven't subscribed. If you are learning from this informative video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot.